And this at the back is one of the electric engines, there are two of them as I say, that drive the pods. So these are driven from those diesel engines in the main engine room and the pods themselves are right at the back down underneath the boat down there. Some serious proper ship engineering going on here, amazing. So as I say, these two electric engines can both be run off of one of those main engines rather than both of them and that then will give you the range. And in through here and this will take us into the main engine room. Now the drive on this boat is actually diesel electric so these are technically generators, they are the main engines but they're not linked directly to prop shafts and propellers. They are 1,200 horsepower each and the boat can run on both of these or just one of these. One can drive both of the electric pod drives. If you're running both engines flat out she's good for about 16 knots if you run on one you can drop the boat back to 10 knots and then you've got four and a half thousand plus miles of range so she is a proper explorer ship she's transatlantic let's take a walk all the way around here because it's an incredible area this is the air conditioning system here now as well as these main engines, as I say, they are technically generators, there are three more generators which obviously handle the service loads. These are just powering the ship. And if we head on back here, this is the actual engineer's space. There's a pod room through there. But I'll show you the one on this side. That's a great area. It's proper super yacht stuff, isn't it? Let's go.